Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again. My name is Vaishali and today I'd like to talk about awareness. Or if I can explicitly put it, it's about becoming deliberately, consciously aware of our implicit memories that might have become subconscious or pre-conscious. That might have become our habituated behavioral patterns that have become our blind spots, that we are not even aware of them. And since everything starts with attentive, conscious, focused, deliberate awareness, we need to start digging up and unearthing our own stories, our own histories to reveal more of ourselves, to get to know more of ourselves, to understanding ourselves a little more, one step at a time. So I'd like to take up a couple of examples to be able to elaborate on that. So if I take up the example of the movie Bhul Bhulaya 1, wherein Vidya Balan plays this character who has DID but is unaware of it till certain things starts to happen which kind of unravel in the later half of the movie, which kind of unravel her story, her implicit factual information, which caused her DID or dissociative identity disorder. And it could only be addressed when somebody noticed that whatever was happening was not something that was commonly seen, that there was something about the situations that were presenting themselves that were quote-unquote abnormal. And it was only when an external help and intervention was sought that the story could completely reveal itself, that the story of her psyche, of her implicit memories could finally be revealed. Now, taking up another example of Dr. Gabor Mate, wherein he has openly expressed his own childhood wounds that needed to be unearthed for him to be able to see his own dysfunctionalities. His own dysfunctionalities that had not only affected his life in some ways, but had also affected his own family. Wherein he has gone on to tell the world as to how he had felt abandoned as an infant when his mother had left him with a stranger to protect him from the Nazi-occupied Germany. Wherein his mother, out of fear, and out of love and concern for him, had given him to a complete stranger only to be taken back a few months later. And the message as an infant that he implicitly received was that he was unwanted, was that he was abandoned, was that he was not good enough for him to be given away to somebody else by his own mother. Now, when he is narrating those instances, that part of his history, that part of his own personal story, his interpersonal story, a part of his implicit memory, which he goes on to share explicitly, he must have done a lot of work on himself to be able to unearth so many layers to finally reach there. And he even goes on to share that since as a child I felt abandoned, I felt neglected, I felt unwanted. His coping strategy to deal with that message was to become a doctor, wherein he is never left, wherein he is never abandoned, wherein he is always wanted at all hours of the day, that he becomes indispensable. And of course, that led him to become an exceptional doctor, a workaholic doctor, a world-renowned speaker and an author. And through his own acceptance, since he became a workaholic doctor, he also became an absent father, which kind of also had its impacts on his wife and on his sons. He also goes on to share that at the age of 70 plus, when he was returning from one of his speaking tours, which had been worldwide well received, for which he had also got a lot of acclaim, a lot of claps from the world. When he finally reaches his hometown and when he is at the airport and his wife has not come to receive him because she had gotten lost in creating an art because she was an artist, it kind of triggered up those old abandonment wounds again. It kind of triggered up the wounds that he wasn't good enough or he important enough for his wife to come and receive him, for his wife to forget about him, for him to start feeling that he was less important than his wife's 
creative pursuits. For him to be upset with his wife for two days wherein he wasn't speaking to her at all. He wasn't even acknowledging her presence. Wherein he himself acknowledges that he went on to the grumpy Gabor mode. Now of course his wife asked him to snap out of the grumpy Gabor mode and they kind of rebuild their equation again even after the age of 70. It in a way also gives us an insight that there is a lot of excavation, that there's a lot of unpeeling that Dr. Mate has done on himself. To be able to go back to those implicit memories which had been laid when he was an infant in order to become aware of his own reactions. To then be able to bring about the desired changes that were required to repair his relationship with his wife once again. To be able to repair his relationship with himself once again. To be able to heal himself and help others heal through this awareness. And how many of us actually self-reflect? How many of us take the time to understand ourselves, to understand our stories, to be even able to change the storyline of the story? To be even able to understand one single line of the story. How many of us take the responsibility to unpeel and unearth our own stories? To go to the place of the original wound, which probably has not been created by our own selves as well. The wound that could have been interpersonally created wherein we were not responsible for it. The wound that could have been caused by somebody else. The wound that could have happened circumstantially as well. But unless we take the responsibility and the accountability of getting an insight into our own stories through our self-excavation, through our self-exploration, it's quite difficult to kind of even get to understand and know ourselves. And when it's difficult to know ourselves, it becomes even difficult to love ourselves. Let's try and think about all of those things. Let's try and reflect on ourselves, on our stories, on the implicit stories that lay so deep within ourselves that we don't even bother to look at them, that we don't even then bother to look at their origin and their meaning and the meaning that has been carried forward throughout our lifetimes. The meaning that we made of it that also probably has been leaked out onto others. Let's try and do that for ourselves and I will see you once again the next week. Till then, stay tuned in. And guys, if you do like the contextual content of these videos, please do like, share and subscribe.